Okay, I'm going to de demonstrate the difference between interaural time difference and interaural level difference. This is going to be best perceived if you wear earphones. And just to test that you have them on the right way, when I, these clicks should come out of your left ear, and these clicks should come out of your right ear. If that's not what you're experiencing, you should turn your headphones around backwards. Left, right. Okay, I'm going to start off with the interaural time difference, otherwise known as the Haas effect. If I delay one side up to about 35 milliseconds, so I'm going to send I'm going to send these clicks through both earphones, and I'm going to increase the delay of the clicks going to the right side, and that should make the parent sound source move to the left. One millisecond of delay. Five milliseconds. Ten milliseconds. Twenty. Thirty milliseconds. At some point, it's going to start to sound like an echo. And certainly, when you get over 50 milliseconds of delay, it really sounds no longer like one event that's moved to one side or the other. It really sounds like an echo. I'm going to move that back to zero. And now I'll, now I'll send the delay out to the left side, and that should make the sound source seem like it's coming from the right side. Lower it back down. All right, now let's try moving the sounds around by using interaural level difference, turning up the sound in one ear while we turn down the level in the other ear. And that's known as panning on a mixing board. So I'm going to first pan it over to the left. Now it's louder in the left than in the right. If you lift up your earphone so off your left ear, you shouldn't hear it. You should not hear anything coming from the right earphone. It should all be coming from the left earphone. Now that it's equal volume in both both ears, if you listen to one or the other, you should hear the click in both ears. I move it over to the right. Now we should only hear in the right ear and none in the left ear, because it's completely panned over to the right. So that's the comparison of interaural time difference with interaural level difference to create localization effects.